Turning now to continuing coverage of the 2022 midterms, Arizona's governor-elect Katie Hobbs officially declaring victory over her opponent, Carrie Lake. And take a look at this, uh, the latest results, uh, governor-elect or the uh, uh, projected governor of Arizona here, uh, keeping that lead over Carrie Lake since election night. So uh, right now, the Lake campaign not making any official statement to concede this race, uh, only saying that Arizonans know BS when they see it. That was a tweet after the AP projected her loss Monday night. So this morning, we're hearing for the first time from Hobbs. She sat down with uh, our very own Dennis Welch to talk about uh, the future of Arizona. Yeah, you know, this is a big change coming for the governor's office. Not only are we getting a, a, a new person taking over this billion, multi-billion dollar operation we call the state of Arizona, but it's from a different uh, uh, party, right. it's a different philosophy. Right. So obviously there was a lot of issues we wanted to speak to her about, and we did speak to her about that. But one of the most important ones, and one quite frankly that likely shifted the entire dynamic of this election cycle this year, was abortion. Now, remember yesterday during her victory speech, Hobbs said, Hobbs said she wants to repeal the so-called territorial law, the law that bans all abortions with no exceptions for rape and incest. But this morning, she suggested that she look to be at making changes to the law passed just this year, which bans abortion after 15 weeks with very few exceptions. I was clear when that when that law was passed and signed that uh, that I was opposed to it. Um, it is an extreme ban that goes too far. As you're aware, it does not include exceptions for rape or incest. Uh, the majority of Arizonans support access to safe legal abortion. Uh, and uh, we've already seen instances, even in this, the 15 week ban that um, has impacted people's ability to get the health care they need. And that 15 week ban that was signed by Governor Ducey does not include any exceptions for rape or incest. But the reality is, even the political makeup of the legislature and how that's going to look like next year, she's going to have a very tough time moving her agenda through, whether it's on abortion, the border, or even health care and education. Scott, Olivia, back to you. So you're going to be sharing different elements of, of this interview mm -hmm. through the course of the evening shows, right? Yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit more about mm -hmm. that. And a, a, again, I mean, a big challenge for her is she can say every all the things that she wants to do, and that's right. well and good. She's going to have an agenda. But again, if you look at the political makeup of the legislature, right. it's still going to be controlled by Republicans. By all intents, well, what we're seeing, it's probably shifted a little bit further to the right there. Um, you know, she's going to be having a hard time getting a lot of that stuff through. So you're going to be seeing, I would expect, Assume a lot of executive orders, and she's going to be very, very busy with that veto pen. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going to be like, I was joking yeah. the other day, it's going to be like, you know, Oprah giving out cars. You know, you she's going to be veto. like, you get a veto, yeah, and yeah. you get a veto, and you get a veto. So that's probably what's going to be happening down there. So I would look to her for her to, be, to start doing stuff via executive fiat, executive order. We did talk one, about one big issue, and that's the border stuff that Governor Ducey's through executive order ordered the those steel uh, shipping right, containers right. to plug gaps in the hole. We asked her about that and, you know, her, you know, you, you have to tune in later tonight to see the answer on that. Mm -hmm. But that is something she could uh, affect and impact immediately, immediately. Yeah. just with the sign with, with, with her signature. I mean, there's so many things that people care about outside the abortion, the mm -hmm. border, as you mentioned, schools, the economy. Mm -hmm. I mean, is she going to try to get head head first into all that stuff. Yeah, you know, one of the things we did talk, we talked a little bit about the expansion, the the, the ESA expansion. Mm -hmm. That's the account that, you know, you can, you know, you, your parents can get public money to send their kids to a private school. And one of the big, you know, criticisms of that, and I think, you know, rightfully so, is they're taking public money, but these private institutions aren't required to kind of report the same information that a lot of our public schools have to and must report. Now, for, for parents that want to make the best decisions for their students, the argument goes, well, shouldn't they have access to testing information mm -hmm. and, and the testing results for these private schools? Shouldn't that be uh, mandatory and made public? After all, this is public money public that money? is going to these. So there, maybe there should be more accountability there. And I think that is definitely something that Hobbs is going to look at. A number of those dollars going to also yep. to, to church run schools yeah. as well. So. Yeah. And it's definitely something I think she's going to be looking at because she wants more accountability for that. And I think a lot of taxpayers, they want to know what's going on with their money yeah, if it's yes. being put to good use. We yeah. know she didn't hear from the Thank late you, campaign, Dennis. did she hear from Governor Ducey? She did hear from Governor Ducey, asked her about that, and she said that Governor Ducey did call her and is going to be working with that, with her as they try to seamlessly try
transition yes. from, again, a, a, such a big change, not only a different person, from a different party and a completely different uh, 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 governing philosophy right, as you're going right. to see. So big changes coming. All right, Dennis. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Dennis.